You are watching Kid TV. Welcome to Kick TV, the daily video journal of Schwann's USA Cup, presented by Puma. I'm your host, Scott Clayson, and uh, today we're sitting here with Brandon Radicke, the operations director at the National Sports Center. You know, you may have noticed on campus this whole week these uh, kind of souped up carts, these uh, utility vehicles, are handled by the operations staff as they do everything around the campus to break it down and set it up for all the different events and activities that happen during this week. So we decided to take a look at some of the special projects these guys have to handle during a life here at USA Cup. Uh, Ops oversees basically the entire campus operation, so anywhere from setup to takedown to maintaining the facility. You see the best part of our job. Right here, pull it and take them and bag them. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh... It's long days. These guys are putting in 170 hours of this whole event. So, I mean, we're here from sun up to sundown and past that usually. So, uh, it's uh, it's a busy, busy event. There's not much downtime, but it's fun. Uh, a lot of our big uh, responsibilities are making sure we respond to calls that come ahead. Uh, Brandon will get the radio call. Uh, hello, he'll. Uh, delegate from there, who needs to do what, what needs to be where and when. I couldn't have asked for a better crew. I don't think we have anybody that uh, works harder than these guys. All right, like you're not impressed. Uh, we know we're doing our job, we're not getting radio calls. Radio silent, that's a good call. Well, we want to thank Brandon and his staff for all their hard work, and we're pretty sure they might get some sleep uh, next week. So today, when we were out and about on campus, we came across Buzz Lagos, legendary Minnesota soccer coach. He won a couple of state titles as the coach at St. Paul Academy. He helped found the Minnesota Thunder pro soccer team, won some national championships with them. So what is he up to these days? Well, as it turns out, He's coaching at a small charter school, helping some at-risk youths learn some life lessons through the game of soccer. Ready, ready? Go to D, close the D, down low, down low, Adid! Adid, come on, get in front of that ball, stay low! Fire Ground Academy is a charter school. It was started in 1999 by a gentleman named Bill Wilson. It was an Afrocentric school. In 2005, when I decided to retire from the Thunder, I wanted to get back into teaching. And a charter school seemed to fit the kind of things I wanted to do because they're a little more experimental, a little more innovative. And I met with Bill and he said, these sound like great ideas to start a soccer program at higher ground, year-round program, keep the kids engaged, tied into schoolwork and how well they do in school and encourage them to do better in school overall. And our school has a graduation requirement to be accepted in college to, be, to graduate from our school. So we really have high standards for the boys and, it's, and the girls, it's very really important overall. It's great being a high soccer team. They give me uh, a lot of chances to play. Actually, there is no trials, that's the good thing. They let everyone play. You know, he taught me a lot of things and the team is pretty awesome. We actually have two great coaches, Coach Fada and Coach Lagos. You know, they, they're helpful, they're useful, and they know what they're doing. And they put us in a lot of leagues, a lot of tournaments. The school's population is primarily Somali. About 70% Somali, 30% Oromo, uh, Ethiopian Oromos, and maybe 2 or 3% black American kids. Many came through refugee camps in Kenya, uh, out of Somalia, and uh, then they arrived here. Oh, there's a lot of people that came from the um, same place I came from, and it's, it's easier to get along with them, because they, um, they've been through the things I've been through. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I just love the experience. I mean, it's, it's, we've been in the Spring Cup and the Walmart tournament. And those are nice tournaments, but this is a different experience. This is almost a, a complete experience with the international teams. They see guys from Brazil and Mexico and Colombia, Europe over here, and they love the, uh, they like to go to the different activities at the opening ceremonies and also the dance that comes up tonight. 
they really get engaged with all those things beyond the soccer. And that really makes it fun and a wonderful experience for them. What do you think you'll remember the most about the things you learned from, from your coaches and your team? Don't give up. That's one thing, don't give up. They, they push you to the limits till you drop, till your knees drop, and yeah, they, they keep you going. And that's, that's their motto. So just keep going. Just keep going, don't give up. Well, of course, we wish good luck to Buzz and the Red Foxes during the rest of their time here at the tournament. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Kick TV. As always, find us on our website, usacup.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Hi! <laughs> we have inflatables here, the Puma Tunnel behind me. A lot of fun games, balloons, face painting, everything like that. Well, how do you feel that um, Caroline's photobombing you right now? <laughs> I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I didn't know that! Photobomb. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Scott, what do you think of this whole uh, USA Cup stuff? It's my 20th year. Is it your 20th year? My 20th USA Cup. So your my 20th out, year. This doesn't make for good bloopers, like heartfelt yeah, stuff. <laughs> heartfelt sappy stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I want to cry. Should I do? Should I do one of those? Back in my day, we ran this tournament with duct tape and zip ties, and every now and then we use some chewing gum. <laughs>